If 10,000 per month is your basic salary, 8% on that is your bonus. Gift up to 50,000 irrespective of person, it is exempt. Whatever extra or excess we have, that is called taxable. So X is employed in oil company, population is 20 lakh. Hello everyone, this is your other sir. Lecturing with us from First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. So we are in session nine of your topic called Tax Management 1. So in Tax Management 1, we are doing income from salary. Now, in this, we are doing another problem in income from salary. The few important concepts which we will do, we'll do it in the today's session. So I'll extend your session from 8 to 9 for your salary topic. So I plan to conclude your salary chapter in session 8 itself, but I felt we'll do another one or two problem in salary topics. So I have extended your session from 8 to up to 9. Your agenda is very simple. We will understand the concept as well as problems. Under this, most of the concept we already covered. Almost not even 90, 99% we covered. Now, just one or two small, small concept. If we get in this problem, we will understand that also. So this sheet I'll use if required, means if there is any new concept, we'll use this concept sheet. Now, problem number 12, X is employee. He is employed in Bharatpur Company Limited. The population of city is 7 lakh. If the population is 7 lakh, what will be your calculation? Very simple. If the population is 7 lakh, 25 lakh and above, it will be 15%. 10 lakh to 25, it will be 10%. And below 10 lakh, it will be 7.5%. This will be your calculation. Now, as per this, we have 7 lakh means we have less than 10 lakh. Less than 10 lakh means we go for your 7.5% calculation. Now, in this, the following information are available in connection with his income for the year ending 31st March 2020. Now, in this, salary rupees 10,000 per month. What is the salary part? It is 10,000 per month. Then, city compensation allowances, it will be 1,000 per month. Just we multiply into 12, no more other further calculations. Then, Bonus, it is 8% of basic pay. Whatever basic salary we have discussed, on that 8% you should calculate. Like, if 10,000 per month is your basic salary, 8% on that is your bonus. Means, it will be 800. 800 will be considered as your bonus. Then, employer contribution, 15% of basic salary. Now, what will be your calculation? 15% means, 15% means, now we will calculate up to 12% it is exempted. Excess of 12% we call it as taxable. Now, so 12% means out of 15, 12 you minus balance 3% we call it as taxable. Then this is over next. Rent free accommodation equipped with furniture. See, rent free accommodation. For this, what we should do? 7.5% of your basic salary. Now, in this, that we calculated, along with that, he was provided with furniture also. What to do with furniture? Now, furniture has also been provided. The cost of furniture is 80,000 and the depreciable value is 64,800. Which one we should consider? So we should go for 80,000 or we should go for 64,800. Which one we should consider? Remember, in case of your 80,000 or 64,800, always go with cost, not for your depreciable value or WDV value. Never go for WDV or depreciation. Always go for your 
cost of the furniture. As per this question, your cost of the furniture is 80,000. Now, for 80,000, if you calculate, you will get around 10%. It will be 8,000. Any doubt? No. So, we done with this. Next. So, continuation. The employer of company gifted him 15,000 on his marriage anniversary. Remember, in the incidence of tax or residential status, we discussed about gift. Now, so what is the basic limit or exemption? Hope you remember. Gift up to 50,000 irrespective of person, it is exempt. Now, gift by your friend or your relatives on occasion of marriage, it is exempt. Gift in case of you have collected from your relatives, blood relatives, then it is exempt. Clear? Yes. Now, in this case, you are not collecting from your relative and you are not collecting on occasion of marriage. Remember, it is marriage anniversary, not marriage time. Now, it is not receiving on occasion of marriage and it is not from your blood relative also. And the moreover, whatever gift received from your employee under salary, it is fully taxable. Whatever gift received under salary topic, it is fully taxable. Now, in this, employer of company gifted him 15,000 on his marriage anniversary during the previous year, fully taxable. Next, the employee has appointed gardener. As I told you, if you are provided with gardener, sweeper, servant, cook or anybody who is willing to help you, whatever salary paid to them by employer, it is completely exempted. Now, Gardener taxable, not exempted, it is completely taxable. Gardener taxable, watchman taxable. So both are 1000 into 12 and 800 into 12, we consider as taxable. Now, we done with that. Next, he is also getting a education allowance for his two children of rupees 450 per month from each. Now, what is the limit for education allowances? Up to 100 rupees per child, it is exempt. Now, what you are supposed to do? 450 into 12 into 2, 100 into 12 into 2. Whatever answer you will get, that difference will be taxable. Why? Because even though they have given any amount as allowances, as per Income Tax Act, up to 100 rupees is exempt. Now, this is done. Next, he paid 4,000 as professional tax. So, he paid 4,000 as professional tax means, as I told you, any employment tax or professional tax, we call it as taxable. And this, whatever you paid, it has to be deducted at the end. So, you have deduction for whatever tax you have paid. Now, at the end, you have to minus this 4,000 so that your tax liability you can reduce. Now, ascertain taxable of salary of Mr. X for the assessment year 2020 as well as 2021. Any doubt up to this? No doubt. Now, solution for this computation of taxable income from salary for the assessment year 2020 and 2021. For this, you have to mention, remember, usually I don't write, but in your examination, it is compulsory that you should write particular rupees, here also rupees. Now, this is done. Now, salary part, how much salary he was getting? 10,000 per month. 10,000 multiplied with 12. It will be how much? 1,20,000. Next. Civil compensation allowances, it will be, it is 1000 per month. 1000 into 12, it is 12,000 per month. Next, bonus, bonus they have given around 800. 800 means how? 8% of your salary. What is your salary? 1,20,000 into 8%. This 1,20,000, remember, you have taken as Salary. On salary, you calculated 8%. Now, 
Education allowances, it is 10,800 and 2,400. How come you got? Now, I'll go back to your question. As per question, they are saying that 450, they got allowance per child. So how many children are there? Two. In this, your calculation must be like this. 450 into 12 into 2. You got around 10,800. Your exemption is 100 into 12 into 2, 2,400. Your answer is 8,400. This is extra. What is this? Extra. Now, whatever extra or excess we have, that is called taxable. In this, 8,400 we consider as taxable. Any doubt? No. Next. We done with this. We'll go for the next one. We'll go for next one. In this, employer's contribution in RPF, excess and over of 12% of salary. How to calculate RPF? Very simple. In this problem, you don't have DNS allowances, DA. Then, what is your basic salary? 1,20,000. 15% you calculate. What is the limit? 1,20,000 into 12% also you calculate. Now, 1,20,000 into 15%, 1,20,000 into 10%. Now, if you calculate, you will get 18,000. If you calculate this, you will get 14,400. The difference is 3,600. Now, what is your difference? 3,600. Now, that's why you got 3,600. The working note here itself. I'll write everything here. It looks awkward, but for you, it is easy. It, for you, it is benefited. Why? Because I'm not going for presentation purpose. I'm going only to make you to understand. Why? Because if you see this 3,600, how come you got this 3,600? See this arrow? It will show you your calculation. Clear? Now, you got education allowances 8,400. How? See the arrow? You will get the answer. It is nothing but spoon feeding for you. Everything is available there itself. You got 1 lakh 20. How come it is 1 lakh 20? 10,000 into 12. 1,000 into 12. 1 lakh 20 into 8 percent. Everything is in the answer sheet. Now, in your examination, you are not supposed to do like this. It is only to explain, not to express. Clear? Now, whatever you will write, you write as it is, like how the sheet is, it should be like this, your answer. Below this, you have space, there you can write working note 1. Here working note 1, your calculation. Working note 2, here you write working note 2, your calculation. Like this, you are supposed to do. This is done. Next, value of rent free accommodation. How to calculate? Very simple. 7.5% of your salary. Salary includes what? Salary includes your basic pay, CCA, DNS allowances, any allowances given to you like your children education or any allowances given to you, everything we should consider. Now, we have taken 1,20,000 as your basic pay, 12,000 as your city compensation, 9,600 for your bonus and 8,400 as your education allowance. We have considered everything, add everything. On that, you calculate 7.5%. They have not given how much employer paid. If it is given, whichever is less, we should consider. But it is not mentioned, that's why whatever answer you got, like 11,250, you should consider as rent-free accommodation. Along with that, you have taken furniture also. As I told you, you have to go for cost value. Cost value is how much? 80,000. On 80,000, 10% means it will be 8,000. Total, 19,250. Any doubt? No. Whatever gift collected on marriage anniversary, it is 15,000. Then, salary of gardener and watchman, as I told you, it is 1,000 per month into 12 plus this will be 800 per month into 12. You will get 12,000 and you will get around 
9600 the total is 21600 this is all about your calculation now you are done with this next stand total everything you will get 2 like 9450 two things we have to deduct one will be your standard deduction another one will be your professional tax paid during the year standard deduction it is 50000 and professional tax paid it is 4000 all put together it comes 54 2 9000 minus 54 your answer is 1 lakh 55 450 any doubt hopefully there is no doubt clear yes this is what your taxable salary i'll go back to every slide so that you can take a screenshot this is your problem number 12 continuation your solution part This is also your solution part. Yeah, this is your problem number fifteen. Now I'll explain you this later. I'll tell you what is the concept. Now it is a similar to what we did problem number twelve, exactly same, but amounts are changed. Now, so X is employed in oil company. Population is twenty lakh. If it is twenty lakh, means what? Ten percent means. 10 lakh to 25 in between. Next, salary you know that city composition you know bonus 10 percent of your basic means 20,000 into 10 percent whatever answer you get into 12. Remember whatever calculation you do that is for one month. You have to do it for complete year. Next, employer contribution 14 percent. Remember 14 percent minus 12 percent. Your answer must be for two percent. It is taxable. Rent-free accommodation acquired. So as per this, you have to calculate ten percent because population is above ten lakh. Now they have given two value: cost of the furniture and depreciable value. Which one we should consider? We should consider always cost of the value. Now as per this, cost of the value is how much? One lakh on one lakh it is ten percent. Remember, on one lakh it is ten percent. Now, the employer of company gifted him twenty thousand. It is completely taxable. The employer appointed gardener into twelve into twelve. Hope you are getting this. Now, he also getting the education allowances two fifty multiplied with twelve into two. What is the limit? One hundred into twelve into two. Whatever answer you get, that is taxable. Now, he paid two thousand four hundred as professional. Remember, you have to minus at the end. At the end, you have to minus. Clear? Yes. Why I am writing everything means it is very simple. This will be your homework. Clear? This will be your homework. Now, the concept is very simple. First, you take a screenshot, then I'll tell you. So, this will be your problem number fifteen. First sheet. Problem number fifteen, sheet number two. Second slide. Yeah. The concept is very simple. This will be homework for you. In this, you have to solve this problem, and you have to send me the. Answer. What is your answer? I'll show you. Your final answer is one lakh fifty-five four fifty. This will be your answer. Now, like this, you have to solve this problem number fifteen. Whatever your final answer, taxable salary you get, you have to write in the comment box. Now, work out. Let it be wrong also, no issue. Whatever answer you get, you write down in the comment box. As soon as I'll get more than ten or fifteen comment in the comment box, like more than ten or fifteen answers, then I'll send you the perfect R as well as final answer. So, if you send me if it crosses ten or fifteen, so that I'll understand that you are working out. If I send as soon I'll get the first person answer, then everybody will copy the same thing. That's why I want you people to answer. I'll expect fifteen, but hopefully I'll get more than twenty-five. I'll know that because you are watching this class. Please 
watch every videos and try to score 100 out of 100 in taxation. I'll be waiting in your comment box for your answer. Thank you.